Okay, we'll go to create and we'll go to document and we'll call it armchair short legs. So we'll just go to create and then we're going to draw, I'll do this on the top plane. So we'll choose sketch and then top plane. So top plane and go to sketch and you'll we'll see if top plane is already chosen there. I like to go with the detail to the top plane and then we're going to draw a rectangle that's uh, 20 by 40. So we'll just grab the rectangle and we'll go 20, enter 40, enter and then we'll extrude that by 595 so we'll go extrude click on the part i want to extrude make sure it comes up like that and then the extrude depth we're going to type in 595 enter and now i've got the length of the material and now i need to do some cutting away on, the, on parts of it so what we'll do is we've got two angle plates on both sides and we've got a long slit that's extrude cut through and a hole that's drilled in so we'll quickly go and we'll do the two angle bits so the first angle bit's got measurements so what i'll do is i'll click on sketch click here you can click on the right plane or you can go and so what we'll do is line construction line draw a random construction line there Oh, that's at an angle, so we'll just do it again. Make sure your lines are straight. So if you draw the line, you'll see an orange reference line that gives you a straight line. Let's press escape, use the measuring tool, and we're going to make this measurement 14. So we click on 1, 4, enter. Then we're going to do another construction line, and this can be a random length. So I'm just going to go here for a random construction line, press escape. And then we're going to make that one 15. So I'll just go to my dimension tool and click on there. And then I can make this 15, 1, 5, enter. Now I just, I'll just move this measurement. You can move measurements so that you guys can see it while you're following the video. And then I'm just going to draw my line at an angle. So the line that I want is going to be between this point and that point. So I'm going to draw there, oh, control Z. You have to keep left clicking when you draw the lines to keep the two live and then i'm just going to draw a line to there as well and a line to there and then later we can extrude that so we're going to go for our second um, line here so what we need is a construction line so we're going to go construction line we stay in the sketch draw a construction line there go to your measuring tool click on Ten mils. So I'm going to go from this point to that point. I want it ten mils. Enter, and now I've got a ten mil um, height line there. And then I'm just going to draw a line at a random angle here, and then press escape. And now I'm going to use my dimension tool again. So dimension, and I want to make the radius of the uh, angle 45 degrees between this line and that line. So I'll just go that 28, I'll make it 45, enter, and that's going to be my line. And then I'll just draw a line there, there. it will just help with the extrude if you've got an extra, extra set line, so escape. Then I'm going to go and I'll need to draw a long groove that's going to be routed out here in the middle. So I'm going to make that one, 235 from the bottom, so construction line, line two. So I'm going to go draw a line random remember not to go to that orange block that will lock it into the center so just anywhere random draw a line press escape go to your measuring tool from this corner to this corner and you're going to make that line 235 enter and then i'm going to draw another line that's 150 away from that one so i'm going to draw another construction line just in a random spot press escape use your dimension tool click there and on that point and make that uh, 150 enter now i want to draw 
in the middle of this, we want to get a center line. And we're going to draw a center rectangle that's 10 moles. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our construction line tool again and see if that orange block appears there. That's my center. So I'm just drawing a straight line there. Press escape. And then I'm going to draw a center rectangle. So you're not going to use the corner rectangle. You're going to click on the center rectangle. And if I over here see that orange block appears, so that's my center. I'm going to go up there, click on that, and I want to make this distance between these two points 10 moles. So I'll just type in 10, enter, and that will be my line, 10 moles. Then I have to use the three-pointed arc, and I'm going to click there and there, and then make my radius 5 moles, and then I'm going to do the same on this side. So I'm going to three-pointed arc, click on that point, click on this point, and click there once and make the radius just 5, enter, uh, press escape, or control Z, let's just uh, escape or choose another, choose another tool quickly and then just choose, I'm just going to draw this one again, I'm not sure if it was 5 mils. So click once, and then it's five volts, and then you can press enter, and press escape. Uh, it didn't like something, but we'll just have a look. Uh, control Z. We'll go back one step, and we'll just see what, when it comes up red, it doesn't like a measurement that we made. So we'll just go three-pointed arc, click on that five volts. And then press escape. Then you go back to the top. And then we're going to go use the three pointed arc again on that point, on that point, and just you have it five. Then use your scissors to cut. Remember that corner rectangle we did at the start? We're just going to cut that line and cut that line and do the same on that side. So cut that line. For extrude, you just need outline so you don't want to have interior lines as well so i don't know why it doesn't okay we'll just see if the extrude works so we click on that click on the center we're going to remove if you check i'll just move the extrude extrude bill. and then here instead of blind we're going to through all i just want to choose that again so through all i'll give it a green tick and that's kind of my slit cut through now we just have to draw one hole on the one side and that's it. To draw one hole on the one side and that's it.